I'm uh, new to here. I'm just giving it a test out. My cameraman is Brian with the good old thumb. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. Don't be too harsh on me, I'm new at this. I'm giving it a test for the first time. Over here we have the, what's the name again called Brian? Nkuhumas. On the left of us, I know it's amber because it's very easily reckon recognizable by eyes. Well, the eyes are shut at the moment. But she's there and the one male face down in the bushes passed out and more down to the right is the rest of the babies and the rest of the family. They reckon the temperature is about 13 degrees but I don't always believe them because it's the weatherman's one job you can keep get wrong and still keep it. And if she's looking at us uh, the embers awake now. We crash. Crash all the babies are all playing down in the bushes there. Let's give it a shot. Sorry boy, don't mean to wake you up from your sleep. Shame. I know how rude it is to be waking up with noise like this. What a beautiful sunrise in the African bush. One of the females playing with the little baby there. Game. Thank you, viewers. Well, nice to meet you all. Babies are a lot more lively than they were yesterday after being full of buffalo. Obviously, a lot of it's digested. Except for the one baby lying there. His little fluff ball doesn't look like he really wants to do much. I'm originally from Natal, down in uh, Zululand in Natal. I've been guiding in another game reserve called Lhui Umfalozi Game Reserve. Um, Brian is my friend and he, he gave me this option. He told me about it the other day. Come give it a shot. So now I'm up here trying to see how it goes and see what happens. You want me to move forward for the female there, Brian? Good round. She's sharpening her claws on the trees and stuff, so it's nice to see. And she's coming back to her, the little ones there. Their stomachs are a lot smaller than they were yesterday, that's for sure. Oh, looks like a bit of bath time. Cleaning the babies. Teamwork. Those cute little fluff balls. Here comes another one come running in. The stalking, practicing their stalking because they'll need that when they're older. Obviously, it looks like the bigger one's picking on the smaller ones. Bullying at its best, but it's all good practice. One's got a little stick there. Love the sounds the little cubs make. It's very cute. You can hear the mother calling to little chirps. Hi there, Michael. Well, my favorite part would obviously be the animals. I've 
always been into animals. If originally I thought I wanted to be a farmer. I went to a farming high school, gave it a chance, and then uh, yeah, I didn't, wasn't so keen on that idea afterwards. And then this came up, and I've been doing it for about 13 so years now, and I've never looked back. I'm always exciting when you get to a site like this. That little rush you get coming out here always gets me. I don't think I could get quite bored of this. This is my office, and it beats the cement jungle. Can you see it right there, right in the mud there? Back there is one stalking up there. He's found something that he's stalking. Oh, there's another baby there. It's hiding behind the bushes there. He's going to pounce on the other guy. There we go. <laughs> the kill's done. Oh, here comes the male. They're all very wary, but we're wary of him. But he was playing with it a little bit. Oh, we're all on the move here. Is still sleeping by the road. What is he gonna scent more? No, thought he was gonna scent mark there where he's swinging the tree. Normally, the males are scent mark on the trees, and this scent can last for about 48 hours. Yeah, wait, he might do it down there. He's going rubbing on the bush. Let's see if he's... There we go. Marking his territory. The scent will last about 48 hours around. I wonder where they're off to on a mission. Early morning walk with the sun coming up. Okay, well, back to Brent. Let's see what he's up to. <laughs> 